Hi, it's Elder. Welcome to my ultimate review of Blocks for Website Builder for 2022. Before we start, let me tell you that I have been using Blocks for the past seven years, starting from the version one, and I have two online businesses built around Blocks. Blocks Templates, a collection of high quality templates for Blocks, and Blocks Master, a series of video courses for Blocks. That being said, this video is going to be very unbiased and I will honestly tell you what I don't like or what you might not like about blogs and I straight up tell you why you should not purchase blogs if you are thinking about it. First, let's start this positive stuff and the first one is that blogs is a standalone Mac application which natively supports Apple Silicon. I have M1 MacBook Pro and before I had M1 MacBook Air and blogs was running perfectly fine on both of these machines. Even projects with over 100 pages were loading very fast, the previewing was instant, and I had never had any issues with performance when it comes to building websites and blogs. Another big advantage of blogs is of course that there is no subscription. You can purchase the app for about $100 to $150 plus tax with just one-time payment. And once you purchase it, it is yours forever, you can install it on your Mac, and use it to build as many websites as you want because there is no limitation how many websites you can make with it. And thing is you don't even need internet connection to build websites. So in theory, you can build your next website on the plane, like transatlantic flight or something like that. And the websites you can make these blogs are quite sophisticated. You can build pretty much everything. And I'm not talking about the back end of the website. I'm talking about the front end, the design, the layout. Like if you go to blogstemplates.com, my website for templates, there are about 55 high quality templates or websites there. And all of these were built without using a line of code and without any extensions or anything, just blocks out of the box. You can build pretty much any layout you want. Of course, if you want to have some kind of more robust behind the scenes, the back end of your website, you can, for example, build a WordPress theme, this blocks for plus export it as the theme and have the front end build these blocks, but then manage your website behind the scenes, this WordPress. If you want to expand the functionality of blocks, you can also install some third party custom bricks and custom bricks are add-ons in blocks ecosystem. You can, for example, install Vault CMS, which is the CMS platform I highly recommend for blocks. It's very simple to use. And if you don't like to work with something like WordPress, it can be a very good option to set up a blog on your website or something like that. You can also get the card designer or tab anything or smart now. There, there are a number of very high quality advanced add-ons for blogs, which will further improve the functionality. But like I said, the good thing about blogs you don't need. If you want, you can, but you don't need to install any add-ons because out of the box, you get a great set of functions and elements you can use to build your website. And you can build everything from scratch from the white canvas without anything, or you can get the templates, for example, from blogstemplates.com, and you can speed up the process of building websites by a lot. And the thing is, you don't even need to purchase templates, you can build them yourself, you can save the page template, for example, and reuse it for other projects. You can save the block, which is a section of the page in Blocks ecosystem, and you can reuse it for any project or any page on your existing project. And this makes building websites in Blocks very, very fast. But of course, there are some things which you need to keep in mind before purchasing Blocks because it is not perfect. The first one is that it is only available for Mac. And if you have a Mac, it's not a problem, but I know many people who don't like to be locked in into some specific ecosystem. In this case, it is Mac or Apple ecosystem. Let's say today you have a Mac, but then there is some great Surface device and you would like to use it, but you realize that you built your website, these blocks, and that means that in order to maintain it and keep it, keep it updated and fresh, you need to continue to use Mac. And that's not something everybody wants. That being said, keep in mind that Blocks is coming to iPad this year, which is a great news for people like me who enjoy using iPads. Another complaint of Blocks users I have heard over the years is that Blocks app does not have any built-in FTP client. Basically, you cannot publish the changes of your website 
right from the app. You need to export the files to your computer and then upload them using the FTP program. And not everybody like that. Of course, if you're like me and you're building websites for a living, you probably already have more than one FTP client installed on your Mac. And there are free options as well as paid options. For example, I'm using Transmit. It is about $45 or something like that. And it is totally worth it for me. But for some people, it is a little bit more cumbersome that they want it to be. They want to have this iWeb or Rapid Weaver like experience when you just press on publish button and all of the changes of your projects are instantly available online. This is not the case with blogs. And this brings us to the third issue some people might have these blocks is that you need to do everything manually. And I'm talking about hosting, domains, website security like SSL certificates, FTP clients, like I said. So let me give you an example of what the process of updating a website using blocks will be for you. So you open a blocks app on your Mac, then you make changes, you export the files to your computer. After that, you open the FTP client, which should be connected to your FTP account, your hosting account and you upload these files from your Mac to your FTP account. And before that, of course, you need to make sure that your hosting account is connected to your domain name and that there is the SSL certificate or website security enabled because this is a crucial part of any website these days. And all of this process, although it is not difficult, for some people, it is more than they want to do. They just want to be able to open their website, make changes, click save, and just forget about it. For people like this, I would recommend something like Squarespace where you sign up with your email, you pay a subscription fee, monthly or annual subscription fee, and then hosting account, the domain, the website security will be automatically done for you and you don't even need to upload anything because everything happens in the browser on any device, by the way, not only Mac, any device. So this is probably the biggest downside of using blogs, but at the same time, it gives you more control over your website and some people might like it. So let me give it to you straight. If you only need one website and you are not sure if this website will be live for more than one year, I don't recommend to get blogs. For situations like this, getting a subscription-based solution like Squarespace, which I am a big fan of, will make more sense. For Squarespace, you will pay an annual subscription fee of about 100 something dollars, and this will include hosting, domain, website security, and the website builder itself. For blogs, the initial investment will be higher because you will get blogs app itself, will spend about 100 plus dollars hosting, domain, website security. If you want to speed up the process, maybe even templates or custom bricks, something like that. But at the end of the day, the initial investment fee will be higher for blogs for the first year. For the first year, because starting from the second year, for Squarespace, you will need to pay the exactly the same or in some, in some cases even higher subscription fee for the second year. But when it comes to blocks, you don't need to pay for blocks app anymore, it's yours forever. You don't need to pay for FTP client if you purchased it, or for templates, or for custom bricks. And the only fee you will need to pay is for hosting and domain or website security. And the, the amount you will pay there for the second year is way, way smaller. It's significantly smaller than the annual subscription fee for something like Squarespace. But then, if you decide to build another website or two another websites, when it comes to subscription-based services, most of the time you will have to pay either the exactly same amount or maybe a little bit discounted, but still almost the full subscription for this separate website and then if you keep it online for more than one year, you will need to pay it again and again and again. But when it comes to blogs, you don't need to pay for app, you don't need to pay for all the add-ons and everything. You can just pay for domains, security, and if you get the shared hosting account, you can even store your website, host your websites on one FTP server. So the longer your websites are online and the more websites you build, the cheaper and much better deal blocks will become compared to any other subscription-based software. To summarize, if you're not afraid to lock yourself into Mac ecosystem and you're not afraid to manually edit and manually upload and manage your websites, blocks is an amazing deal unless you only need one website and you're not sure if this website will be live for longer than one year.